Why does Pakistan keep bringing religion in sports? Hmm. They portray their win in cricket as Allah's victory and recently got too excited about Saudi's victory against Argentina. Um, because Pakistan's entirety, uh, Pakistan's like main culture is Islam. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so what else do they have? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And exactly. it's also because their culture is Islam. It's a good way to get other countries win as a win for themselves as well. Like if Saudi wins, like woohoo, we won. Like, but that's not your team. Like, yeah. well, it's Islam. So we won. Uh, you can't do yeah. that with other countries like other countries can't come up and say like woohoo another country won that means we won yeah you can't do yeah, that yeah, right yeah. so yeah. but yeah but you can't do that if you're pakistan yeah um i mean yeah that's that's it because because sports are tribal to begin with yeah we can add another element of of tribalism here we can get some people on our side on our team i mean yeah that that makes sense to me honestly i i would if we had more, you know, theocratic Christian nations around the world, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they did the same thing. So, I mean, another reason why does Pakistan keep bringing religion and sports because they they have nothing worth <laughs> of value to be proud of, right? I didn't want to so, say that. I'm glad you said that. I was going to say, what else yeah. does Pakistan have? I don't know. I don't, yeah, <laughs> I mean, no. like they have. What do you have, Pakistan? <laughs> I have religion. Yeah. All right. And you know, like, I well, mean, they have other things. I don't know. Some, yeah. some people get offended, but it's yeah, not that sorry. big. Of, it's mostly just Islam. It's just mm -hmm. Islam. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. So there's that. Um, it was so it was a surprise. It was a surprise win, by the way. Saudi Arabia beating Argentina. That was a big, big upset. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Apparently, uh, which okay, I don't know much about soccer. But was it because I, I mean I know enough to know Argentina is like a major team, yeah. like Brazil and so. So, was it because Argentina's team got worse, or because Saudi was so good? I think I think there there have been people that have have said you know on both sides there there are analysts that have said well Argentina wasn't really playing as a unit today and they could, just couldn't really connect to those passes, um, or it could have just been the fact that the Saudi Arabian team over the last few years had just done a really good job. Um, I think at the end of the day, it was more fluke than it was anything. I mean, I don't want to take anything away from, from those players. Of course, they're much more skilled and athletic than I am. I'm just saying that, like, I bet if you continually put this team, these two teams up against each other, you'd see Argentina winning out more on a record that, that makes sense too. That's why, you know, sometimes these big competitions like this, it's hard to say like who's the better team. You only get to play once and then you kind of move on, you know? So it's like is is you know, okay, Japan beat Germany today. Well, Germany beat so and so. Does that actually mean that Japan could beat that team? Well, you have to put them on the field and play. So Did you um, go ahead. Did you did you see Iranians celebrating Iran team's loss cheering yeah. for cheering yeah. for UK? Yeah. yeah. Was, I did see that. That, that is crazy. If, I mean, I yeah. No, go ahead. No, in Iran, the first religion is soccer. The second mm. religion is Islam, right? Yeah. And I grew up watching people go crazy over the national team winning. Like that was like everything they were they were hoping for. It was their dream. Yeah. See, like they celebrated that more than like, their own children if their team won. So mm -hmm. for me to see Iranians all of a sudden celebrate every time the other team, like I saw videos of people in Iran with the UK flag celebrating oh the fact that Iranian team lost. Like, oh so, yeah. Gosh. Wow. So I was like, wow, this mm. is so intense. The, the, the Iranian, for people who don't know, the Iranian people have become so anti-Iranian regime mm. and they consider the Iranian team to be an extension of the Iranian regime, especially because they didn't spoke, speak out the way they expected them to against the, mm. uh, against the regime crackdown on protests and stuff like that, um, that they are doing something that it was unimaginable, unimaginable. Like mm. I, these people, these are the same people who would give their, give their legs if they had to, to get, make the national team win. If that's how, like, if that's a sacrifice of eyeball or something, they would have done it, right? And now they're celebrating the other side. It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. It just, yeah. If I was, if I was one of the people 
high up in the Iranian regime right now, I would be very much thinking about changing the shitty policies that that my regime is enacting. But I mean, I'm not one of those people, you know, I haven't had my whole nation cheer for another team instead of yeah. our national team. But again, if I was in their position, I would feel bad about that. And I would uh, I would start being a better person. So that's at this point, this, at this point, that's not what people want. Like, they just want them gone. People- Yes, yes, yeah, yes, yes. Yeah, then so, get out. Some, oh, that's... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, by the way, that's actually very inter- interesting because a lot of people from um, a lot of politicians are like, oh, the Iranian regime should stop doing this and start shooting the people better. And a lot of people mm. in Iran are like, no, <laughs> they just should. They, they should, should do... just drop. No, drop dead. They should just drop well, dead. We don't. Well. We don't want. They actually, now mm. now it has gotten to a point that if they do make any changes, it makes the Iranian people angrier. And mm. like it makes them angrier to the point like sure. oh you think this is gonna save you like that's 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 how they're saying it's watching it yeah you can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free too sexy to show most of it here on youtube we draw muhammad hindu goddesses sexy hijabi art jesus mother mary japanese god greek gods and much much more click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art